Hey, what's up you guys? It's Zach with PC Bros, and I'm going to be comparing the RTX 5060 Ti and the RTX 5070 in benchmarks later in the video. But first, let me show you some cool things about PCBros.tech. Here's some new things that we got going on right now. We added some new staples back. For a little bit there, we did not have the parts for the last two staples. So now we have the premium Panda Gamer, as well as some upgrades to some previous builds as well. And you might notice if you've been on the page before or followed us for any time that there are some new cases for the staple builds. Eventually the old reliable Apivia Prodigy will be phased out for the Okinos Aqua 3, as you see here. So staple builds will be looking pretty different here soon, as well as the upgrade that I'm gonna be talking about today which is for the premium streamer with the i5 14400f and the base model comes with the rtx 5060 ti and if we take a closer look for the 200 dollars upgrade we can upgrade to the rtx 5070 with 12 gigs of vram again this video is going to be about comparing the 5060 ti 8 gig to the 5070 12 gig and yes there's going to be obvious performance differences with the 5070 having more vram and being a more expensive card but I think this comparison is going to be important to show exactly how much of a difference it will look like in the same games on the same settings so you know exactly what you're buying. Right now, currently, we just have the benchmark video for the RTX 5060 Ti, but by the time you're seeing this video, we should have both and even probably this video attached to it as well just to help buyers make a decision when upgrading on what exactly they need. Some other cool things on the website are these Windows 10 and 11 Pro USB this is the Windows install and activation with free shipping. This is a very competitive price. So definitely something to consider if you're building your own PC is very nice. And if you're wanting to build your own PC or not too sure where to start, our custom build consultation and advice service, which we have kept a very low price since we've been open. We have tons of people go through this service for either questions or if they just want us to build an awesome custom PC like the ones that you see here. We have built all kinds in different cases. We have definitely a ton of experience in fully custom PCs. We can even do themed builds. We did a really cool one for a huge U of L fan, basketball fan. So yeah, let's get right into this comparison and uh, let's check out these benchmarks. So we're gonna start it off looking at the RTX 5060 Ti in Black Myth Wukong medium settings in 1440p. And with the 5060 Ti on Black Myth Wukong, we are getting well over 100 FPS here. When you see over 100 FPS like this on a single player game, you know you could probably go up in settings even more. High settings is very possible. Playing the exact same settings on the 5070 will get you about 15 extra frames so it's not going to be that much of a jump on this game so for the most part if you're playing games like this you know the 5060 ti is probably going to be good enough for your needs especially if you're not enabling ray tracing or anything like that so let's go ahead and move to the next game to show you a little bit more so this is the 5060 ti again in cyberpunk 2077 on high settings we are in 1440p and we're getting about the same fps as the last game being around that 130 140 range so it's a little bit higher and this game's really demanding as well we do not have ray tracing enabled the 5070 is not looking too much different really so that performance jump is not really going to be worth it on these single player games especially if we're not doing ray tracing enabled we're not really pushing these cards to the max on the 5070 i did run a ray tracing benchmark and i set the ray tracing to medium and saw that the performance didn't really drop at all both cards are pretty good for ray tracing i mean they're both nvidia cards rtx you can expect similar performance with the 60 ti as well the last game we're going to test here is forza horizon 5 and you see on medium settings 1440p we can 100 percent go higher if you want but we are rocking super high refresh rate very enjoyable experience here in 1440p getting well over 200 frames about 230 is about where we're at 225 and this is where you see a little bit of that extra raw power from the 5070 we are all around that 300 fps mark here on medium settings 1440p so there is that extra performance and this is not really cranked up all the way if we went on high settings 
settings ray tracing or maxed out ultra and ray tracing we could probably get about that 80 frames in both games but if you really want to max out games and have them look as good as possible i would recommend the rtx 5070 but if you just want the games to still look great as you can see you can still crank up the settings if you're really maxing out the settings and need that extra performance boost to make it work the 5070 is going to be probably what you need but if you do just want that great performance and saving a couple extra hundred bucks the 5060 ti won't be a bad option at all as you can see it's pretty much keeping up with the 5070 until you really crank up those settings and then that extra power will be necessary and you can also add 32 gigs of ram just making it better if you had the 5070 and the 32 gigs of ram this pc would be lasting you quite a long time for sure going back to pcbros.tech just to show off a couple upgrades on the staples here digging a little bit more into the premium panda we finally have a pc bro staple with the new intel gpus this is the intel rd 580 this is definitely a great graphics card option for medium to high refresh rate gaming on pretty much any game in 1080p and the intel arc gpus have come a long way for sure and we've been keeping close eyes on them and definitely including them in a lot of our more budget to mid-range builds because they are so viable and then real quick the professional streamer got an upgrade with the rx 9070 making this our most powerful system yet if you want to never worry can my pc run this this is the pc to get for sure and and we have done some benchmarks on this as well. And this even has an upgrade to the 5070 Ti, which I can do a comparison on later with two terabytes. Yeah, this PC is definitely a powerhouse and something to consider if you just want the best of the best. But let's go back to the premium streamer here with the 5060 Ti. Some more great features about the PC Bro staples is our free shipping with Windows 11 installed, activated, and tested, and all the necessary drivers needed where all you have to do when the PC gets there is plug it in sign into your Windows account and then you are good to go you really don't need to set up anything we've done all the work we've downloaded Windows and made sure everything was set up properly so basically you can just plug and play these systems and this PC comes with our PC bros one-year parts and labor warranty this is really awesome and people have taken advantage of it if needed or if maybe something stopped working you can rest assured that we will take care of you we do definitely try our best to go above and beyond for all of our customers to make sure they enjoy their gaming pcs but yeah thank you all so much for watching and let me know in the comments down below is the 5060 ti good enough for your gaming needs or would you want that 5070 upgrade thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one